Welcome to Peaceful Streaming. I am continuing on my uh, playthrough of Coffee Talk. And if you don't know anything about it, it's set in a fantasy version of Seattle. And the player is the barista slash owner of a coffee shop. And it's always raining. So this is Wednesday, September 30th, 2020. Uh, welcome. Good evening, sir. Hello. I'm from the Federal Immigration Regulation and Enforcement Division, or F-I-R-E for short. How may I help you? We've heard reports of alien sightings in this area. We take the issue of illegal interstellar immigration seriously. Have you seen any creatures you would consider to be alien in nature? Hmm, I don't think so. But what should I be looking for? What's the alien look like? We're not 100% sure. But according to some eyewitnesses, it's wearing a spacesuit or something similar. That's a, a pretty eye-catching outfit. You'd think an illegal alien would try to blend in better, right? To avoid attention, you know. That is a very good point. In fact, there might be a solid possibility that we have been running around after false testimonies. They are superior creatures, after all. Thank you for the help. If you see any suspicious activities, please contact us through our website. Will do, sir. You don't want to drink anything before leaving? We're good. Why is he saying we, as that's just what the, uh, what the alien was saying? Take care on your way. Ew. You really need to be more careful, Neil. Huh? Good evening, Deborah. That's Aqua. Myrtle says, yo. Hello, Miss Aqua, Miss Myrtle. Have you both been somewhere together? We plan to meet here. It's just a coincidence we arrived at the same time. Would you like to order anything? Do you want to order first? Nah, you go first. Okay. You can have a cup of green tea with a lot of mint. Okay, so let's see. it's easy to start out with. I guess a lot of mint would be probably two mint. Hopefully. Okay, so it's got it, it's got a name, so that probably means I got it right. Marrakesh. Your drink's ready. Ooh, this looks really fresh. I call this Marrakesh, inspired by its origin. Marrakesh in Morocco? I heard the people there really love tea. Let's give this a try then. Oh my, it's warm but very refreshing. No wonder Morocco is often associated with tea. How about you, Miss Myrtle? You want to order right away? Sure. I'll have the te tarot. Uh, okay, hopefully I have that in my phone. Uh, oh, crud. Are you kidding me? I do not have it in my phone. I have not the slightest clue what that could be. I'm trying to remember what she likes. She likes chocolate and how how could they be? Oh wait a minute, maybe it's under a different. Nope. Dark chocolate. Oh come on. I have not the slightest idea. Um. I am really surprised that the game threw this at me. Um, did I, am I missing something? No. 
I have I have not the foggiest idea. Um, I mean, I know she likes chocolate stuff. At least I think that was her favorite. I mean, really, guys? Um, oh, wait a minute. No, no, that won't tell me anything, even if she has a profile. Um, does she have a profile? No. Oh, Myrtle, her programmer at Cosmic Studios. Um, okay, so that didn't do me any good. Um... Okay, she likes chocolate. I have no clue. Um, chocolate, chocolate, and honey, I guess? I have no idea. I mean, there's nothing I can do about this. Honey, chocolate. Nope. I have four more. Um... I don't know if she's a coffee person. What does that sound like? Uh, it sounds kind of Middle Eastern. Tea. Uh, let's try tea. Um, ginger. I have no idea. And cinnamon. I'm going to totally fail this one. Um, that's masala chai. Okay, um, I'm going to try something with coffee. <laughs> I, I can't believe they're doing this to me. Coffee, um, I don't know. Nope. Uh, I don't know. Milk. And I don't know, coffee, milk, and cinnamon. I'm probably going to duplicate stuff because I'm not even remembering what I'm doing. Milk, cinnamon, coffee. So that's a no. Um, green tea. I don't know. That doesn't sound right. Um, I, I don't know. It probably isn't tea, but tea, ginger. Did I already do tea, ginger, and cinnamon? I think I did. And I'm sure I did tea, ginger, uh, tea, and lemon, and... Mm, I don't think this is it. I, I'm like, what? I don't understand. They've never done this. Oh, it doesn't even have a name. Okay, um... I know she likes chocolate. I'm just gonna. <laughs> nope. Mint chocolate. That's not it. I think I have one more and then that's it. Um, and I, then I just have to use that one. Um, ginger. Um, give it a shot. I, I just don't even know what to do. Doesn't sound very great. And I have to serve this to her. Here's your order. Huh? Is there anything wrong? More like, is there anything right? Because it's not what I ordered at all. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me fix it for you. No need. Can you just tell me how to make it? But make sure it doesn't happen again, okay? Will do. I mean, honestly, I could probably Google it, but I don't want to cheat. Aqua says, so, um, how are things going in the office? As usual, tiring. But thanks to you and your team, we've made some good progress bleh, Progress with a problem we've been stuck on for a while. I'm glad I could be of help. It's not every day our research can have an impact as direct as this. Only a few weeks after publication, no less. The thing is, even with your help, we still need to do a ridiculous amount of overtime to make sure the game will be available for the holiday season. Oh, I want to say please don't forget to rest, but I'm sure it won't be that easy for you and the team. Ha, huh. as if those executives care about us. Overtime is not mandatory, they'll say. Please see your family, get some rest. But we all know that, quote, 
optional over time is a passive aggressive move. We'll stay longer in the office anyway, because if you go home earlier than the others, you'll feel bad for them. You'll feel guilty. I understand that so much. I hate to admit it, but yeah, it's guilt. I wish I could help you or at least say something to boost your morale. Sadly, I'm not the right person to give you advice about that. For guilt is something that also bothers me a lot, even for things I shouldn't feel guilty about. And you know what makes it worse? I know the state of the industry, but it still saddens me to realize that my favorite series was born out of such sacrifice. I'm sorry I ruined the mood for everyone. Don't worry about it, Aqua. I'm not that bad off, you know. At least the company gives us decent compensation. Healthcare, bonuses, and so on. And we're already used to this. So don't you worry about me, okay? Getting used to unhealthy working conditions shouldn't be a norm. Hey, cheer up. Remember, your research helped us out a lot. Thanks to you, the rest of the development is going to be much easier. How's your game doing, by the way? Actually, I have some good news about it. What is it? The game got approved to be showcased at Max West this year. That's really good news. Congrats. Thank you. So what's the problem then? I haven't confirmed my attendance to the organizer. Why? Confirm it fast before they give your spot to another indie. I am just not sure about it. What's stopping you? Cost? The booth is free for indies. That's good then. And the events even in Seattle. You don't need to spend anything on travel or accommodation. It's a golden ticket. But I'm not that confident you passed the selection process, right? It should be enough validation to reassure you of the game's quality. If I'm not mistaken, the judges are usually prolific people in the industry and also senior journalists. I know. But I've told you about my game, right? It's pretty non-traditional and thousands of people will be visiting Max, expecting full metal conflict in other bigger games. Every game has its own market, you know, and you'll be in the indie area. People know what to expect there. Games aren't, gamers aren't stupid. What if some haters visit the booth? What if they don't like my game and say bad things about it? Or about me? That's not going to happen. It's an expo, not the internet. People are way nicer in real life. Huh. Even after all that, I'll still be there by myself for the whole event. Hmm. That one is a problem, yeah. Meeting that many people is already scary enough. Doing it for four days straight? Showing my baby to the public? I just can't imagine the horror. You know what? Huh? So far, my schedule is pretty empty around then. If things stay this way until Max, I'll come with you. Yeah, I can't do an E sound. No, you don't have to do that. Even if you're free, then you shouldn't waste your time on me. Relax or something. Nah, it's no bother. I'll be going to the event anyway. Might as well come with an exhibit or badge. What about your company's booth? Don't worry about it. There are hundreds of us. I can just ask my lead to skip this year. But, 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 I'm coming with you, whether you like it or not. Oh, okay. Good. Now, what are you gonna show the game on? I'll have a laptop and a smartphone. Is the expo build ready? Expo build? You're not planning to showcase the full version, right? Um, that's the plan. Don't. I can give you the guidelines on what to have for the expo build. Do you have the game with you now? It's on my phone. I can send you the build now if you want. Do so. Okay. Got it. Now, let's see.
Hello, Miss Rachel. Hi, Deborah. Hmm. What's wrong? Huh? Nothing? I've just been practicing all day and I'm pretty tired. Are you having a concert soon? Don't tell anyone yet. It'll be announced tomorrow. But I'm going to perform at Couchella next week. They're still adding new performers? Yeah, you might say that those announced this late are... Back up. Oh, but it's still the biggest festival in the country. Yes, and I'm excited for it. I think I should celebrate with a special drink, something sweet. What do you want to order? A sweet hot chocolate. Um, okay. So if it's supposed to be sweet, well, that's really sweet. What does it say? Honey chocolate? No. Oh, I don't have it. Oh, do I only get five a day? Fred. Oh, she's not going to like it. Your sweet hot chocolate is ready. Thank you. She's not going to like it. How is it? Um, not bad. It's not special, but it's enough. Please don't hesitate to call me if you need anything else. Thanks. Other than the instruction on the loading screen, try putting a time limit on how long they can play. Why? Wouldn't that break their immersion? Probably, but in case there's a good reaction to it, you might have people lining up to play your game. Don't want to make them wait too long. That makes sense. If you don't want to put a time limit on it, try ending the demo with a cliffhanger. That should get people's attention. Noted. Rachel saying, Dad, what are you doing here? After what you did at the studio this evening, Henry says, I was worried. I couldn't find you anywhere around the studio. So I thought you'd be here. But can we just, can we not just limit ourselves to this place? And now you're causing another ruckus. We're sorry, Deborah. We didn't mean to cause you any problems. You are sorry. I don't have anything to be sorry for. Well, anyway, I better order something. What are you having? What would you recommend? Might I say, oh God, <laughs> seriously. Am I missing something? I do not have these recipes. Uh, so I say, might I have suggest a cup of Spanish Sahara? Oh, what is that? It's basically hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Okay, thank God. Sounds delicious. I'll take that Spanish Sahara. Oh crap, now I forget. Ch milk chocolate with ginger? Um, well, I only get one shot, so I think it's ginger. Uh, yes. Your drink is ready, sir. My, my. This is amazing. Glad you liked it. Dad. Yes? Please just go home after you finish your drink. Not until you leave <laughs> that good-for-nothing pervert. I need him. He's going to help me become more successful. I know Morris. He is not a good person. The industry has changed, Dad. It's not like 20 years ago. Besides, since you left, he's been growing his brand, making his name. Managing a lot of stars so they become superstars. I still have my informants in the industry. He hasn't changed much. And even if he has, it wasn't for the better. You're just being paranoid. First, you were afraid of how my fans would treat me. Now you're afraid of the industry, too. What's next? You'll lock me in the house because you're afraid of the air I'm breathing? You're just too young to understand. Then make me understand. Because this is definitely not helping. There are better ways. Didn't you learn anything from Mom? 
you were together for almost 15 years, but you learned nothing. Not even how to talk to your own daughter. Rachel, I, I'm sorry, but I'm trying, okay? Try harder because right now you're not helping anyone. Not me, not you, no one. I know, but give me a chance. You know what? It will take time for me to learn, but I am learning. Or, you know, I could return to the industry, try to be your manager. Dad, are you out of your mind? You've been out of touch for so long. I told you, I have informants there. I'm not that out of touch. Of course, there are things I need to figure out. But we... It doesn't work that way, Dad. You know that. Going from a girl band to a solo career won't be easy. If I take things slow, I'll lose all my momentum. If you don't want me to be your manager, can you at least choose someone other than Morris? I don't think so. Mr. Lester is at the height of his career now. He's my best chance right now. Don't be too paranoid, okay? I made my decision. Now, please go home. Relax. And don't ever come to the studio again. I'm going back there. I need to practice for the festival. It's only a few days away. And it's a big chance to boost my presence as a solo artist. When are you going to be home? I don't know. I'll be staying at the hotel the label provided. But that's... See you, Dad. Wait, Rachel. You screwed that one up, Henry. Excuse me for a moment, Deborah. Yep, guess he's not having a good evening. I'm sorry about what just happened. You don't have to apologize. Yeah, we were busy minding our own business anyway. What? You didn't hear their argument, Myrtle? Of course I heard them. I just chose to ignore most of it. It's none of my business, is it? That's amazing. What's so amazing about that? I don't think I can do that. Dividing and focusing my attention so completely. Especially when there's an argument like that. You saying you weren't listening to my advice and you were focusing on them instead? N uh, no, I was listening. I made notes. See, you didn't even realize that you are capable of focusing your attention. Now that you mention it, it happens naturally, I guess. Being born into a big family is useful after all. Yeah, sometimes we don't even realize what we're capable of doing. By the way, you want to head back now? Yeah, it's pretty late. Yo, Deborah, we're leaving. Hope you had a good time. Thank you for the drinks, as usual. Please take care on your way home. Oh, I wonder where um, green-haired pixie was. Hmm, I guess that's all for to... Oh, God. Oh, you're back, Mr. Henry. Are you all right, sir? Sir? Oh, yes, yes. I Please don't worry about me. Did you manage to catch up with Miss Rachel? No, I lost her. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm sure she's all right. I hope you're right. By the way, pardon me for asking. Yes? Throughout your arguments with Miss, Ra Miss Rachel, something kept bugging me. What's that? Why did you leave the music industry? Huh. Now that's a trip down memory lane. You don't have to tell me if it makes you uncomfortable. Oh no, it's fine. I left around 20 years ago, just as we were welcoming the beginning of the new millennium. It was a great time for girl bands, you know. They were huge in the 90s. And they were still enjoying the leftover sensation of the past decade. I met wa my wife while working. She worked for a record label. That's how we met. I decided to get married and settle down. I wanted a peaceful life. You didn't find peace managing girl bands? Oh gosh, no. The politics, the dark side of the industry, none of it's good. But what hit me hardest was the fans. Toxic fans are the worst. The teenage girls especially, they were crazy about their idols. 
the point where they started doing really unimaginable stuff. Like what? Spending all their money trying to copy the superstar lifestyle, abandoning, abandoning their responsibilities, their families. And the men, they were even worse. They sexualized the girls in every way you could possibly imagine. Edited photos, stalking, outright se sexual assault. It was before the internet, mind you. I mean, the internet existed, but it wasn't as mainstream as it is now. It wasn't even the target of their abuse, but it haunted me. It was everywhere. Don't talk to me about peace. I couldn't sleep back then. Not getting enough sleep is dangerous for Cap. What do you do for a living now? After we got married, my wife and I opened a record store. It's not big, but we have a very specific audience or niche. They love us for it. It's more than enough for our little family. You said you're still in touch with your friends in the music industry. They visit my place from time to time and we all meet up at least once a year. Usually it's at my place. Gosh, look at the time. I should go home, too. Are you going to be all right by yourself? Don't worry about me. I'm an old cat. We're stronger than most people think. See you later, Deborah. And sorry for bringing our fight to your place. Don't worry about it. All right, then. Goodbye. Huh. Well, I guess we didn't see her. Thursday, October 1st, 2020. And the evening whispers says, Couchella organizer reminds parents not to allow their children to attend unsupervised. Rachel Florencia confirmed to perform at Couchella 2020. Gil Naiman and Maruko Harukami Kami to collaborate for new IP. Sorry, we're not open yet. Oh, Neil, you've come very early today. Is there anything I can help you with? There is definitely something that you can do. What is it? Can we work here? Excuse me, what? It is it possible for us to work here? What? Why? We have learned something precious since we first arrived here. Communication is very important on Earth. And Earthlings communicate in a very complicated way. It blows our mind to learn that you need to mix between verbal and nonverbal communication here. Yes, but I can see that your communication skill has improved an awful lot since you arrived. That is true, but it is not enough. Some of the biggest lessons about Earthlings we have learned, we learn them here. This made us think, instead of focusing on finding a breeding partner, we should focus on learning how to communicate with Earthlings properly. Sounds like a good strategy. That is why we asked you to allow us to work here because you want to interact with our customers? That is correct. Huh, I'm not sure about this. Neil, normally if you're applying for a job on Earth, you have to go through certain processes before you finally get the job, if you get it at all. Oh, let me think this over if you don't mind. And I'll let you know tomorrow. Oh, no, we are sorry for our spontaneity, but it has to be today. May I know why? Because we are leaving for an event tomorrow. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. But with one condition, you won't be making any drinks. I'll handle that. Once I'm done, you will give the cup to the customer. Understood. There are other things you need to keep in mind. What is that? Dealing with the customers. Some people come here just to chill. They might come just for a drink, work, or to read something. I strongly suggest you let them be. 
but always be prepared if they want to talk about anything. How can we know whether people want to be left alone or not? That won't be easy, but you'll be able to judge based on their body language. Nonverbal signs? Yes. That will be very hard for us. Indeed. Don't worry. I'll give you a sign. When you start talking or when you should stop. Thank you. We will need that so much. Well, that's basically all you need to do here. Do we need a special outfit to do the job? Not really. I'll lend you an apron though to help keep your suit clean and to differentiate you from the customers. You don't really need more differentiation, but it will make you look more legit for the job. That is a very earthling thing to do. It is. All right then, are you ready for this? We are. Okay, let's start the night. Welcome. Freya says, holy wow, what the hell is happening? Good evening, Miss Freya. Hey, Deborah, what's going on here? Well, Neil is working here tonight. And I thought I was the one who brought bad news. I never thought this place would be ground zero for an alien invasion. <laughs> it's not that. Neil is just helping out. You've never looked like someone who needs help. There are a few things to clarify, Miss Freya. First, our mission was never about conquering Earth. In fact, it is the other way around. Second, judging for the situation, we are actually the person who is getting help from the barista, not the other way around. What? We have learned something since we arrived and we came to a conclusion. Before starting another breeding mission, we should learn more about how Earthlings communicate. We thought this place was the best place to learn. And you just agreed to this? On one condition. I make the drinks. Neil will only be here to serve and communicate. Fair trade. What's in it for you then? What? You're helping them here. What do you get in return? Now that you mention it, if there's anything you want from us, please do not hesitate to ask. Don't mention it. Well, maybe you can be my next story. I can write an article about your work here, Freya. If I still need to write for the paper again, what happened? The chief found out. Oh, is that why you didn't come yesterday? Yes. How did she find out? You remember my fateful meeting with the higher up in the elevator? Yes. Same thing happened with my chief. They met each other in the lift and the higher up mentioned our encounter to her. The chief called me into her office and things went downhill from there. She realized immediately that it was the reason for my poor performance lately. She didn't like it, of course. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you going to do now? Write the goddamn novel, I guess. And after that, hope that it sells well. If not, I don't know. We do not understand what is really happening, Miss Freya, but we feel the immense sadness and frustration you feel. How about a warm cup of drink? It is on the house. Huh? Are you allowed to do that? We will pay for the drink. No, it's okay. It's on the house. That was a nice thing to do, Neil. That was the best thing to do according to our senses. It was. So what do you want to drink, Miss Freya? Your favorite. Our favorite? Anything. I trust you with a decision. <sighs> okay. Um, well, she's a coffee person. Um, let's see. Uh, so she usually gets espresso. Coffee, coffee, and... Um, I don't know. Cinnamon? Uh, ginger. Sure, why not? Yeah, 
She may not trust me after this. Oh, it's got a name. So that's good, actually. And Here is your drink, especially crafted by the owner of this coffee shop. And by the way, I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I'll sound like an idiot. Well, who else is going to brew it? Thank you so much for this. I always wondered why your place only served hot drinks. But today I might have an idea why. How far along are you with the novel? I can prepare the draft in a few days, I think. Now that I don't really need to care about other deadlines. And if I manage to infuse some coffee and creativity into my blood. That sounds doable. Even without the caffeine infusion. Excuse me, Miss Freya. We have learned extensively about Earthlings' bodies, about all the races. And we do not think infusing your blood with coffee would be advisable. <sighs> I'm sorry, Neil. I'm not really in the mood for this sort of conversation. It was just... Neil. Freya wasn't serious about infusing herself with coffee. Oh, we are glad to hear that then. That was a figure of speech, Neil. Ah, we have heard about that term. It is still very hard to understand your language. It will always be hard. Languages will keep on changing. Understood. At least we are here now to learn the basics of how Earthlings communicate. Miss Freya, if we may ask, ask away. How fast do you write? Not fast enough, apparently. But do you have numbers? Numbers? How many words do you produce per day? Hmm. I don't think I have the exact number, but full time, I should be able to write between three and 5,000 words per day. That's a lot. That's raw. After that, I still need to edit it. I usually end up with about half of what I originally wrote. According to our research, the standard number of words for the thing you need to write is between 50 and 100,000. Oh my God. That's right. But for this draft, I don't need to write that much. That is pleasant information to hear. How many words do you need to write? Let's see. I think it should be around 15,000 words. That's pretty big for a pitch draft. Well, it's GRA Media, the biggest publisher around. If we count based on the number of words, it seems like you will be able to achieve your target easily. <laughs> I wish. Writing isn't only about the number of words, Neil. It requires things outside the mere word count. If we only judged writers by their ability to write a large number of words, then we wouldn't have poetry or short stories. That is pretty hard to understand, but we learned beforehand that art is a difficult matter, even for earthlings. Yep. Earthlings seem to have a fascination for things which are hard to understand, from languages to arts. Write again. <laughs> but you're not that wrong about writing, you know. Word count is one of the few things you can objectively judge a story by. It's not the most important thing, but it's still up there. So it is a valid parameter? Definitely. Cool. <laughs> that didn't sound at all like you, Neil. I guess you really are learning something on Earth. Oh, another guest. Oh, there's Myrtle. Good evening, Miss Myrtle. I won't even ask, except for one thing. Who's making the drinks? I'm still the one responsible for that. Good. Coffee with a little bit of ginger, please. Um... That. Oh, okay. It's it's. It, you can go back and look at uh, what they asked for. I guess I could have used that a little while ago. Okay. Your order is ready. Not bad. Thanks. You are welcome. What brings you here today, Miss Myrtle? Psst. Neil, some people come to a coffee shop just to sit, sit without being disturbed. Oh, that definitely seems to fit Miss Myrtle's visits here. 
Actually, I'm not here just to sit without being disturbed. Ah, hard enough. I was just training Neil on how to talk with the customers here. I can see that. Still trying to get laid? <laughs> er, oh, no, we are not. We are tasked with learning how Earthlings communicate with each other. Yeah, that's a step in the right direction. One suggestion. If you want to blend in with us, stop using such formal language. Start talking the way we talk. Start listening the way we listen, which essentially is not really listening at all. That would be very difficult to achieve, but we will try. Step by step. One small step for you might be one giant leap for your kind. That was nicely said, Miss Freya. By the way, Miss Myrtle, now that we know you are not here for your usual activities, are you here for someone then? Yeah. Oh, is it Aqua? Uh-huh. What's the occasion? No special occasion. It's just... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm late. I was supposed to leave early, but... What is this? What is happening here? I already told... <laughs> The barista said to call all the cops when he said he was going to be here. Wait, I already told the barista to call the cops when he's when he said he was going to breed here. Okay, it's all smushed together, a little hard to read. Where is Deborah? Uh, Miss Aqua, please relax. I'm here. Oh, you're safe. Yes, everything is fine. Huh? Okay. Please let me take a breath. Here, please drink this water. Feeling better now? Yes, I'm sorry. It is all right, Miss Aqua. Everyone has been surprised to see me here. What are you doing here anyway? We are starting to think that we might need to make a recording for the answer to this question. <coughs> you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. No problem, Miss Aqua. It is time for our break anyway. So here is the deal. That's really interesting. Very nice of you to do this, Deborah. It's nothing really. But you really think one day is enough to learn everything? Definitely not. But we do not want to disturb this place business for any longer. As if this place cares about business. Besides, we want to travel around the planet more. This coffee shop is a good start, but we cannot limit ourselves to just this place. Where do you want to go after this? Couchella. Okay. What? What are you going to do at Coachella? According to our research, there are many breedings happening during Couchella. That is why we decided that the event will be our next target. Well... You're not wrong. But didn't you say the baby has to be born out of love? Yes, we noticed that. But we also noticed that we need to know a lot more about earthlings, including the breeding manners. That is what we will study in Couchella. After that, we will be very ready to breed with so many female earthlings. I shouldn't say this, but hell, that sounds like the best plan you've had since you got here. We know. We also surprised ourselves. But please, Miss Freya, let us stop talking about our plan. We work here today. First, let us return to our spot behind the bar. So our discussion with Miss Myrtle was stopped abruptly. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. What are you two doing together? Uh, it's nothing. We're just friends, you know. We just want to hang out and talk about our work. We both work in the same field, remember? Yes, yes, that's it. I don't have that much experience in game development, you see. I thought your research was in computer graphics. Yes, but I've never made a game from scratch before. I was always a bystander. So I've been asking Myrtle for feedback from time to time. Today I want to thank her directly. But she arrived first, so I couldn't buy her a drink. Never mind that. I'd refuse it anyway. But... Wait, 
If you want to thank her directly, does it mean you're done with the game? Excuse me, Miss Freya. It should be you apostrophe R-E, not Y-O-U-R. Oh, so you are correcting my grammar now, huh? It was a slip of the tongue. Okay, I'm sorry. How did you even pick up on that anyway? It's not like what I'm saying is written down anywhere. We just know. Back to you, Aqua. So you're done with your game. There's quite a lot of things I need to polish and fix, but players can enjoy the experience from start to finish. What kind of feedback do you give people for a video game? That depends on the game. But in Aqua's case, most of my advice was about the pacing, control, and UI, UX. Huh. It must be fun to have finished working on your creation. It surely removes some of the weight on my chest. Just to replace it with another weight. You mean there's still more to come after you're done? I'm not done with my book. I just lost my job. And if I can't finish this draft on time, I'm done. And even after all that, that's so well. I'm even more done. Doubly done. I'm sorry to hear that, Freya. But please be more confident. <laughs> I'm even starting to doubt myself. I read some of your short stories, you know. After our first meeting, I subscribed to the Evening Whispers app. And then I read some of the stuff you wrote. They're really good, you know. Some of them are better than others. But it's still an enjoyable experience to read them. So I'm excited to check out your book once it's done. You're too kind, Aqua. What you're going through is more or less the same as what Merle is going through. So I'm sure you'll both be fine. Uh, you don't have to talk about it in front of other people. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. It's just that sharing is caring, you know. Okay, okay. Thank you for helping me share with other people. Really, I'm sorry. I know, I said thanks already, right? But you put so much emphasis on share. That's sarcasm, I know that. <sighs> Aqua. I'm sorry if it sounded that way. But yeah, I kind of get what you're dealing with. Although it's a bit different for me. What's your problem? Burnout. I've been working on something for two years straight. But no one outside the office knows about it. And those who do don't seem to appreciate it at all. I thought Full Metal Conflict had a new game every two years. Yes. I don't really work on them. Not directly. So what do you work on? A secret project. I'll tell you under friend, friend, like friend NDA. Okay. All right. I'm not with a paper anymore anyway. I'm part of a special team. We're tasked with making a breakthrough in the studio. We need to be able to make a prototype for a new IP. Or worst case, another FMC game in a different genre. Isn't that a dream job for some people? Huh. That's what I thought at first. You're a writer, right? Imagine being a writer, but you can't publish anything you write. For years. That doesn't sound like a pleasant situation at all. My team has been making pitches, dozens of them, hundreds, thousands. Out of all those countless pitches, only a handful got approved for prototyping. And so far, none of the prototypes have been approved. Ouch. There's only seven of us on the team. The seven samurai, that's what they said. So you haven't released anything for the last two years? Sometimes our team works to support others when they're going through a crunch cycle. They need to hit an almost impossible target. We jump in. I wonder you folks were considered the Seven Samurai. I guess, yeah. By the way, Myrtle, I just realized... What? Usually developers get their vacation time after finishing a project, right? More or less, yeah. When was the last time you had a vacation? Hmm. Before I joined this company, I guess. That's like four years ago. Uh-huh. Dude, no wonder you're so burned out. Yes, that's why. You need a vacation. But I can't just take one. You can. In fact, you will do it tomorrow. But tomorrow is... I'm not done yet. You will take tomorrow, the day after, and another day after off. 
But where should I go? Don't worry, I'll take care of that. You will? I'm going with you for this long weekend slash vacation. What about Max West? That's not this weekend. Forget about it for now. Hey, hey, okay. But I can't do it tomorrow. What's starting Friday? So a long weekend getaway, right? Hmm. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow, Aqua. You look like a different person. Really? I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be. Okay, it's settled then. I need to go home now and prepare for our getaway. I'll come with you. Uh, to my apartment? No, we'll walk together to the bus stop, just like last time. Oh, okay then. Everyone, see you next week, okay? Have fun. Take care out there. May you find your joy during va your vacation. Wait, I thought they were going to the bus stop together. Okay, see you folks later. Vacation, huh? You definitely need one, Freya. I know, but not now. I've got to finish this draft first. As we have said before, you can do it, Miss Freya. Thanks, Neil. Anyway, are you going to close anytime soon? Depends. Why? I'm in the mood for some writing. Then please take your time. You sure? You want another drink to be going on with? Still in the house. I definitely won't say no. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. And so to anyone who's been watching, I really appreciate it. Anyone watching the VOD, I really appreciate you. And I'll see you next time. Take care.